Good morning, everybody. I just got back in from letting my chickens out. All of our ice and snow melted. Well, not all of it, but in the chicken run. So they're outside pecking for bugs, which makes me happy. And this is what I wanted to talk to you about today. This is a Tupperware microwave steamer. There are three parts, the lid, this inner basket, which has holes on the bottom, and this reservoir at the bottom that catches water. Or you put water in for the microwave, but I don't do it that way. What I do is I use it to sprout bean sprouts. These are mung beans. And I soak them overnight. The next day I rinse them, put them in line, uh, line the bottom of this with that with the seeds and every day or twice a day I will remove this part give them a good soaking see they're growing really well and empty the reservoir part and then put it back together and let them sit till the next day it's the perfect size for enough bean sprouts to last me a week I would say compared to a pack you get in the store this makes probably five times that. So it's really handy, really convenient just to leave by your sink. And you can find these in thrift stores. I've seen them on Amazon for seven to ten dollars with free shipping. So yeah, sometimes the oldies are the goodies. Look at those. They're just growing so well. This is uh, day three for these guys. So I'll be harvesting them probably Ah, uh, middle of next week. They go seven to ten days. So, so there's my little tip for the day. Here's my window garden update. I tried a pineapple. It died. Uh, my aloe vera is going crazy. Green onions. My kale is doing well. It's kind of fighting with the green onion. Um, or they're shaking hands, however you want to look at it. One last thing. These are tomato plant clones that I just have in water. So I'm hoping to have lots of nice, see, you can see the flowers. Maybe you can't see the flowers. There are flowers there, I promise. Um, so hopefully I'll have lots of nice tomato plants next year. Down here I have some radish sprouts. They'll probably be ready to harvest in another uh, five or six days. And someone gave me this lovely bamboo. It was dying, so I changed its soil. And cut off all the dying parts. And I removed the two, they were wax um, stop, excuse me, stoppers in there and in there. I removed those because I want it to grow as much as it can. Um, Laverne and Shirley, my tomato plants. They're going crazy, so I had to trim them back. Um, I don't know if I left any. Oh, yeah, I did. See, look at that. Flowering. Is that crazy? I left that one branch, even though it's really long, because it's flowering. And I can't say no if a plant wants to flower. So, all doing well. And there's another little aloe vera I moved to the window. And that's starting to take off and grow. This is the remains of my romaine. <laughs> um, this is the romaine lettuce that I made the video about, about what it does when you grow it in the house from uh, grocery store scraps, like you cut the top off and plant the base. Um, and as you can see, it's starting to come back. I don't know if you can see it that well. So I'm going to keep going with that. Maybe I can feed that to my chickens in another month or so. This baby right there is what I'm excited about. That is sheep sorrel. And I don't know if you were one of us outdoor kids, but growing up, my friend and I used to sit on the lawn and eat sorrel because it tastes so good. It's like a, it's a mild, tangy, spinachy kind of taste, and it's really, really good. So I bought a package of seeds, and that's the only one that lived so I'm hoping I can get that to grow into a nice big bush for me. And sweet potato. It looks like it's dying, but it's growing. I just have to plant it and get a better angle. There we go. So that's growing. And I'm hoping I can throw that in the ground in the spring once the ground warms up. 
So there's my update. And I like looking at it. It's pretty. All right. Have a wonderful day. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Babies. We're having babies. I can't show you the other one because it's directly in line with the sun. But we have one, two, three, four babies. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye.